Hey guys and welcome back to another one and I hope you are all okay. Now you have an Apple TV 4K and you just ate iTunes, so do I. Now it's no secret that my favorite app on every single device is Kodi. Unfortunately on the Apple TV 4K we can't install it, at least permanently. There are hacks and so on and so forth, but we're not going to mention that. On the other hand, in my particular case, I do love the kind of experience that I have with Kodi, so I want to have similarly on the Apple TV 4K. And for that, I've got two uh, softwares that I do use, or two apps that I use, and today I'm going to share with you one which is totally free, and then on the other video I will share the paid one which has another kind or another level of integration with Kodi. Now, the app that I'm going to share with you today is called Infuse and the first reason that I love it is just because it looks great. It has a really clean design, everything gets organized automatically, the artwork, the posters and so on and so forth, they get downloaded automatically and then the categories for the movie, series, etc, etc, it will be created all automatically. So the overall feeling is really clean, really easy to use and it's pleasant. I really enjoy this kind of app uh, and reminds me of Kodi. Even if you ask me, hey Robert, what about the design? I do prefer the design on the Infuse, which I do believe that it's more refined than on Kodi. But Kodi is my favorite piece of software. Now, the second reason that I loved Infuse is because it gives me the freedom like Kodi does to stream from anywhere. So if you are like myself and you have your movies stored on your network at that storage solution, then you can stream from there. If you have your movies or series on your PC, you can. If you have on your Mac, you can. If you have on a Dropbox, or on Google Drive, on OneDrive, you can stream from anywhere. So this is something really, really awesome, which will give us the freedom to have our multimedia library in one place, centralized in a network, and then stream for any device, including the Apple TV 4K. Now the third aspect is that it gives me the freedom to play almost any format and I'm talking about MKV, ISO, MP4 and so on and so forth. Things that sometimes uh, some Apple devices don't really enjoy. In this particular case Infuse will take advantage of the technology, decoding and so on and so forth and will be able to decode everything. And finally it also has something that it's really awesome. I'm a Plex user, not as much as Kodi, but I am a Plex user. And if you have your old movie database on your Plex library, then what you can do is integrate Infus with Plex and what you will get is all your media library centralized. If you start, for example, to watch a movie on a living room TV on an Android device using Plex, and then you stop at the middle and go upstairs to your room and you have your Apple TV 4K, then you will be able to synchronize and start the movie where you left off. And this is something really interesting. Unfortunately, Infuse is not able to do the same thing with Kodi centralized library. Now, if you guys love Kodi, you can check out on the channel right below, search for Kodi, and you will see a lot of videos where we saw how to make a Kodi library so that we can start watching a movie right over here and then move to another device and start watching where we left off. And this is something really useful. We did on an Android TV box, we did on a NAS, we did on a PC, on a Mac and so on and so forth. So this is something that unfortunately Infuse is not able to do, at least the way that I want to do. But if you want another alternative where you can centralize all your media library with Android devices and Apple TV 4K and whatever devices that you are using Kodi and so on and so forth, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and pay attention to one of the next videos where I will show you the way that I use to centralize all my multimedia library across Android devices and Apple TV 4K using a Kodi library. And that is it. Hope that this video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George. And as always, see you guys on the next one.